Hey YouTube, Diesel Dan back again. Uh, another video on an interesting one came in today. Uh, have a Mac, it's 2019 Anthem. Rear bags will not air up. And when they do, we're having trouble dumping it and airing back up again. So, found a couple issues. I wasn't getting any air supply to the three actuator valves back here that are mounted right here on the frame rail in front of the fifth wheel. So I went back to the air manifold here and I tried blowing air through it. I got it to work here and there, but I ended up changing the air manifold and I'll show you where this is located in a minute. I'm doing the actuators now. Now the new actuator here, I got three new ones here. As you can see, they don't come with the plastic covers. And I just wanted to show you real quick. If you go to Harbor Freight or have one of these door panel remover tool clip things, it's hard to do it one hand but this slips right under there and they pop right off and you can click them right onto the new one i already did two so we're ready to go back in with this and i will show you where the manifold is i already got the light in position as you can see there's the air manifold mounted on the driver's inner frame rail uh, it does have a bolt at the bottom for the bracket, so I just pop the lines off. It's an 18 millimeter head. The outside of the frame, it's a 21 or a 7 8 wrench. And pretty much the same thing for the bracket on the actuator here. There's actually two bolts that hold that on. Same thing, 18 millimeter heads. I did mark my lines and plugs just to be safe here. And uh, the reason why I take the bracket off with the air manifold is because it has torque screws on the back. So when it's mounted up there, you can't get to the torque screws. And I believe they are 25. Torx 25. Same thing with the valves here. And I wanted to show you real quick on how these go back together. If I can hold this phone straight. That's how they all go together. All three valves are the same. So as you put them together, you screw them down with a torque screw. So this end piece is a cap. And then this piece here is an add-on at the end. So all three of these valves are the same and interchangeable if you run into the issue. I think it's up, down, and then for the fifth wheel lock. But yeah, hope this helps some guys, and uh, on to the next one. Hope this helps, guys. Thanks.